We are taking exploration to a whole new level with No Man's Sky. Tell me about the vast exploration within this game and how you guys managed to make it as big as it is. No Man's Sky is like an infinite procedurally generated universe, right? And then we just set players loose in it. And it's actually up to them what they do. Some players will explore it, but some people will be a little bit like me and be more combative and just want to be intergalactic jerks. There's a wanted level. So if I start killing lots of creatures or mining the planets too heavily or really just upsetting the balance of the universe, then the universe is going to fight back. On the planets, there's a race of robots, the Sentinels. Their whole job is to just keep the peace and actually protect the planets from people like me, right? From explorers like us going out and upsetting the balance. In space, when I'm out in space, then you have police ships, you have military. They're either on patrol or if you start causing lots of trouble, they will get called out. If you are acting as a pirate or an attack ship, they're going to seek you out. You will have a wanted level and you either need to run away or try and stand your ground. But the more you stand your ground, the more you fight back, the more the military gets pulled in. In the process of doing all of this scanning and gathering all this information from all the worlds that you discover, is there sort of a catalog that keeps track of all the things that I'm finding? You have your hitchhiker's guide that you're building up, your intergalactic Pokedex, right? <laughs> that tracks everything that you're doing, everything that you've discovered, all the places that you've been. And to start off with, that's reasonably simple, but after you've been exploring for hundreds of hours, hopefully, right? you're gonna see that, that that builds up into this huge, almost wiki of, you know, like a, a photo album. Yeah. All the places you've been, the things that you've seen, and it becomes really exciting and really personal to you. And as you discover those things, you get to name them. And then when other players see them, they see that name that you've given to it. You mentioned that if other players come across something you've discovered with your name, that they'll see the name that you've given it. Is this a game where you're going to encounter other players? It's not a game that's really about the multiplayer experience because the universe is so huge, actually the chance of coming across somebody is, is really slim. But people are playing in the same universe and it is still possible, but it's just very unlikely. So this isn't a game that you enter into thinking you're going to deathmatch or that, you know, it's not really an MMO, right? Because there's loads of games that do that. Yeah. And we're not trying to be those type of games. What's different about us is the size of this universe. So we didn't want to start people all on the same planet. We wanted to spread people out. But even if we had, like these are planet-sized planets. So if we had like a million players, which would be amazing, right? A little indie game, but if we had a million players and we started everyone on the same planet, they'd actually be still really far apart because that's a planet-sized planet. Oh!